Hello, my name is Mo Willems, and I am the creator of a new book entitled Opposites Abstract. I've always said that my characters like Elephant and Piggy and the Pigeon are one step away from abstraction. And that is because I have always loved abstraction. I think I started seriously thinking about making abstractions in about 2013 when I was living in Paris. I'm really interested in the juxtaposition of color and line and especially size. In about 2019, I started a very big project which was to make giant abstractions of Beethoven's nine symphonies. And these were made so that audiences could look at and think about them while they listened to the actual symphonies being performed by the National Symphony Orchestra. I spent about a year on this project and it really opened my eyes to all kinds of new things. I never painted like that before. I never painted on a scale like that before. And I never really thought about how abstracts can mean everything and nothing at the same time, much like music. So when that project was done, I really wanted to keep painting because it fed me. And that's where the idea of opposites abstract came from. Making for me very large abstractions, 40 inches by 40 inches, that were about something, but also were open enough and abstract enough that you could put in the meaning yourself. What interests me about opposites is that they have to live together in some way. And opposition isn't always a conflict. Sometimes it's just two sides of a coin. I was really interested in expressing these questions of what is an opposite with just color and line and form. Ah, the words in the book, why are the opposites questions and not statements? Well, is a question more interesting than an answer? Yes. I love questions and I want to invite my audience to participate in the looking and in the doing and perhaps even the making. So if a kid is looking at this and it says, is this dark? And they say, no, it isn't. And they go out and they make their own abstraction about what dark is. Then I have succeeded in a way that's magical. The pacing of the book is very important, and I can't wait for you to figure out for yourself why some abstracts are on the left-hand side, why some are on the right, and why one special pair is split in the middle. Opposites Abstract has been a great journey for me to think about ideas in different ways. And my goal with Opposites Abstract is for you to go out and find your own opposites and create them yourselves, to ask these questions. Maybe the oldest member of your family and the youngest member of your family can create their own opposites and see how their art styles mix and are different. You know, I was making a lot of these during the height of the pandemic, and there have been so many changes during that time. But at the same time, there were some basic fundamental things that stayed the same. And that opposition, that contrast really interested me. And I'm not always an optimist, but I do feel that in difficult times there are silver linings. And that is why every painting has one thing in common. It has a literal silver lining. I hope that you enjoy thinking about them. I hope you enjoy seeing them and I hope that it sparks some opposites in your life.